Hi everyone, we're at Euro Satori 2024 in Paris, France. I am now on the Japanese pavilion with the Japanese uh, ATLA. It is an agency of the Japanese MOD to find out more about the railgun projects in uh, Japan. Now with an official from ATLA. Sir, good morning. Thank you so much for your time to answer a few of my uh, questions. Can you please first introduce yourself? I am uh, Matsumoto. Uh, Kyosuke Matsumoto, uh, Director General of Technology Strategy Department of ATLA. ATLA is currently uh, working on the railgun uh, project. Uh, what is the current status of that uh, project? Yes. We have started uh, a railgun research program in 2015. And now already nine years uh, have passed and we have conducted uh, several uh, technology or research on the railgun programs. So we accumulated many technology you know, uh, research program outcomes. And now, as you know, we uh, conducted a firing test on the ship last year. And now also uh, planning to conduct another firing test on the board uh, next year so uh, we are still uh, on the phase of under the research and the development phase but we are aiming at uh, realize our technology beginning of 2030s uh, so our first target is to install railgun system onto the ship so indeed, uh, I was at a conference last uh, month uh, in the UK where uh, an admiral from ATLA briefed about the future DDGs of uh, JMSDF and uh, he said that the plan is that those ships will receive uh, raw guns. Are you confident that uh, your technology will be uh, ready for those future uh, ships? We are aiming at, as I mentioned, you know, uh, installing our uh, railgun system onto a ship. Uh, but still we have uh, many technical challenges uh, to realize it. And so we continuously are uh, conducting our several research programs. And uh, based on the outcome of those research programs, we will be considering uh, how we can install our system onto the city. Uh, the last questions. Uh, the last question I wanted to ask you uh, is about a recent cooperation agreement uh, that Atlas signed with uh, the French German Institute Saint Louis uh, ISL. Uh, so, what will be the cooperation between uh, Japan, uh, Germany, and France? We have signed uh, uh, terms of reference on the technology cooperation of railgun. And so it's uh, about uh, the cooperation uh, on information exchange, actually. And uh, so for the information exchange, well, 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 we, we, we start information exchange uh, to identify uh, what substantial cooperation we can do on the railgun program, uh, ranging from research, development, testing, and evaluation. Uh, there are so many opportunities for us to uh, collaborate because our programs and uh, their programs are overlapping so much and somewhat different, but uh, we can find uh, the area uh, for both sides to be very beneficial uh, on their own programs. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Arigato We are now on the booth of the French German Institut Saint Louis or ISL. Gentlemen, good morning. Can you please introduce yourselves? My name is Christian de Villemagne. I'm the French director of ISL. And I'm uh, Michael Meinl. I'm the German director of the ISL. So we are a couple. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Franco German, uh, indeed. Uh, Sir, can you please uh, first uh, tell us about that uh, agreement that was just inked with uh, Japan's ATLA regarding a cooperation on the railgun technology? 
So the cooperation agreement uh, with ATLA is, uh, has just been signed some weeks ago uh, with, the, with the support of uh, the two ministries of defense of Germany and France. And um, this gives us uh, the opportunity now to, to start senior meta expert uh, uh, talks between two sides in order to see where we, where we can cooperate, what are the strengths and uh, the strengths of each side and uh, what every side can, can contribute. To, to the cooperation and uh, in any way this will be a win-win situation for Japan and for Germany and, and France. Railguns are not new uh, for ASL, uh, you've been working on the technology for a number of years, first with a project known as uh, Pegasus and then as part of uh, European Defense Agency projects. Uh, so what's the experience of ASL? Well, um, railgun technology will probably be a game changer um, and, and we do need to gain support for game changers. Um, this uh, has been increasing in, in the past few years. We've been working for decades on railgun at a rather moderate speed and we, we are now speeding up. We are uh, proficient in all domains of uh, railgun technologies, not only the railgun, but also the energy source and the uh, hypersonic hypervelocity projectile. Uh, and we do expect uh, to uh, provide a real game changer with our partners, partners on the European side, with the uh, uh, TEMA project uh, funded by the European Defense Fund, and partners on the Japanese side. We are really building the Champions League for railguns. Uh, as far as I know, you're also currently cooperating with a French shipbuilder uh, naval group to study the integration of uh, railguns on warships. So my final question, I guess, is uh, when may we see railguns at sea? Uh, in 10, 20, maybe 30 years? Yes, we have been, have been doing uh, first studies on board of a ship to see where we could integrate the the energy supply and the, 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 the railgun, railgun itself. This is just the beginning. So we are intending to, to, build, um, uh, to build a real demonstrator from two, 2028 on. And I would uh, suppose that from that point in time on, uh, it will take last still five to 10 years un until we see a real integrated railgun on a, on a, on a battleship. I can just concur with what Michel said. Um, we, do, we do need also to, to, to find the right uh, warship to integrate a Reagan on it. And, and you know that uh, uh, life cycles for warships, that's more like, like uh, 50 years. So um, it all depends on uh, which uh, target we find in terms of um, warship integration. Very well, gentlemen, that was very clear. Thank you very much for uh, the opportunity for the interview. Thank you. Thanks to you. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much.